Hey there everybody, it's Kunilis and I'm back again with another episode of Battle <laughs> Another episode of Battle Brothers. No, another episode of Dominions 4. Alright. Where it looks like I had already set everything up at the end of the last turn. Looks like it. What was I doing over here? I was apparently creating some kind of reinforcements for some reason. Where was I moving them? Probably up to here? I'm gonna assume up to there. Alright, let's start moving him that direction then. These guys are just... so many diseases. How far away are we from- oh, it's all the way in evocation, isn't it? Or enchantment? I was about to say, how far away are we from getting a... Uh, gift of health? Level 7 and enchantment. So we're pretty much, we're like 20 or 30 turns away. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm remembering that we were moving our god back down here to try to get him down there for when uh, Alteration Level 9 finished up? Yeah. So was that all we were doing? They've moved there. They're there. I apparently need to try to keep... Maybe? I mean, I, what could it hurt? Is he preaching? He is. Is there anyone here? No. Can we get anybody here? I'm sorry, that, that doesn't seem right. No, I wanted this one. No, we can't. Okay, but we can send a guy in there. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll send one guy there. And we'll send another guy up here. Why is there a wolf there? Oh, because we had to leave him when we went into the water. We'll send another guy up here. And then I suppose we'll send you in here. Do we have any defenses here? We have no defenses there. Probably we want... No, no, we're not going to rectify that. Okay, let's let, go ahead, we'll end the turn, we'll let basically the battles that we're about to fight go ahead and tick over. And see how we do with them. I can't remember if I needed to put defenses up there on that, like, uh, ocean crossing to get to the last, possibly last fort of these guys. Battle in Monarch Woods. Conquer by our forces, they still have that, of course they do. Most of the province has been conquered. We lost four Earth Readers. We're losing a lot of Earth Readers. Alright, unexpected event. Got some magic pearls. We lynched, or someone lynched a local wizard and we stole his gems. We're seeing a major event. Magic seems to be leaking from the world. We've destroyed the gate and we've started to destroy the gate. So we've destroyed the gate here. Interesting. Okay, go ahead and... No, I apparently clicked on the wrong one. We haven't destroyed either of them. We've started to destroy each of them. Okay, that's fine. Do we have defenses here? We do. I need you to keep moving on up here. I need you to continue moving. I mean, if I move them there, what's the best way? Doesn't matter. Each way they're going to have to move here. Okay, so we'll move you down here. Now, this guy, I'm going to go ahead and have him build... A temple? Do I want to try to combat that, or do I want to build this up? I think I want to build this up here. So I think we're going to go ahead... What are we least likely to lose right away? Probably these. So come up here, construct a temple. And you as well, construct a temple. And we have even more. Construct a temple. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Because they still have Dominion up here. They're getting Dominion here really strongly. You are our prophet, right? You are the prophet. And you're... I mean, you've pushed it back a little bit. But they're still pushing in Dominion here. It can't... Oh, no, we can't see their... Hold on. Why can we... Why can we see this Dominion? But we can't see that dominion, but we can see their dominion. Is there no dominion here? That can't be right. Maybe it is, though? It's possible. No dominion here? Then where the hell's that coming from? I don't know. It's interesting. Alright, so they've taken those areas. You're, they're pretty much holding out there. There's a lot of guys left here, and I don't know why. Cancel recruiting them. We don't need any more. Probably keep recruiting them. Alright. 
And the god is moving? Yes, he is. These guys, what was I having you guys do? Was I just moving you down here, apparently? I guess. Maybe I was worried about these guys building up forces. Calum building up forces there. All right. Yeah, you're going to hold there. I don't know how much further they go here. I was thinking that might have been their last area. But we'll go ahead. We'll end the turn. So everyone's moving wherever I want them to be moving. And we will see how it goes. Long turn there. A dire portent. Python, Lord of the Ways, blah, 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 blah. The very blood of the earth. Use the power drawn from her blood against you, adding insult, close the wound of the mother, soothe her pain, squash the leech that feeds upon her, and show that it is you that deserve to hold sway over her and all that she begot, begot. So I think he's gaining earth gems from that. Very ill omen. Alright, that's, that's not necessarily good. We've started to destroy it and we've broken through here. Okay. Well, he's still another turn out. Did I not have you build a temple? No, I didn't. I had you guys down here build a temple. I should have had you continue to preach then. He's moving. These guys... I think, honestly, they could probably go ahead and storm the castle, because we still have a lot of ogres, right? Decent amount of ogres. Do I want to wait a turn? And you, I actually, I'm probably going to send you up here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to send you up there. They are building up an attack force there. We do have defenses there, though. Alright, the god needs to continue moving. Did this force grow? There's 200 now? Was there always 200? I don't remember, to be honest. Alright, these guys are preaching, yes. He is not preaching anymore. Maybe I'll move him down... No, I just want this guy. Move him on down there. He's preaching. Why... Did I not have enough to build, or did I not tell him to build? Yeah, build a build a temple, dude. They're pushing in on Dominion here. You two have built temples. Okay. I'm gonna have you move... I guess I'll have you move there. And then you... Well, I mean, you can head back home. Yeah, head back home. There is a temple here. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and tell them to recruit. And we'll build up, rebuild up our uh, priest force here. Since it's seeming like we are losing a significant amount of them. A significant amount indeed. Now, here, do we have... We do have another guy. He's almost filled up. He is filled up. Okay, where am I moving him then? I'm actually probably going to leave you here, dude. And maybe boost up a little bit? No. No, I'm not... I'm sorry, you're injured? You lost... How'd you lose an arm? No, 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 no. Let's go back to this. How did you lose an arm? Is there... Hold on now. Global enchantments. Yeah, Earth Blood Well Deep gives him Earth Gems, right? Riches from beneath. How did you lose an arm, sir? Usually I would expect uh, some kind of global enchantment to do that. But it's not looking like there was any global enchantment that would have done that. So I'm curious how you succeed in doing that. Alright, there's a battle there. Uh, I don't think there were that many guys there. One Earth Reader, five Great Ohms, one Ogre. Killed all of them, 39 of them. Not that many of them. We discovered Death Gems, and we've still started to destroy the gate up there. Okay. I'm going to send everybody, except for... Lapis? What level do you need to be able to claim a, uh... Can, can you claim? Where is it at? No, you cannot. Okay. So everybody except for Lapis is gonna... No, I'm... Hit A instead of trying to move. You're gonna... I'm sorry, what? You fought back? I'm sorry, you fought... I'm sorry, what? Okay, well, apparently, everybody is going to move down here, because we apparently may need to come here and stop them from attacking into Grey Mountains. 
I wouldn't have thought we would have needed to do that, but it's seeming like that may be something we have to do. And then Lapis is going to claim the Throne of Ascension, hopefully before he dies of... Well, he's not diseased, but I was thinking he might have been. We're going to go ahead, we're going to throw... 30 here? 35? We'll throw 35 there. Can't throw anybody there. Thrown 25 there. Might... No, 25 is good for now. Still only 30 population here. I'll be honest, I don't know how to, uh... I don't know how to increase that. Cannot be used to raise the, prov the dominion of this province any higher. Oh! Wow! They managed to get up to three! Very impressive. And we've gotten a little... little, uh, claim on it there. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead... I'm going to tell you, build a temple up there. Apparently we're managing to gain some purchase here. I mean, very small amount of purchase, but we are apparently gaining it. Now you need to move down here, because after that, it's what? One, one turn, two, three, five turns away, and our research is three turns away. Okay. So, do I want to start with construction? I feel like... no. Conjuration? Was there anything really good here that I wanted? Find Umbral? I think that just sort of brought one guy back, yeah. I'm trying to decide where I want to go next, and I think I want to try to go for Gift of Health. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to attempt to go for. Ah, we could... We could awaken Trasks, though. Tartarus Gate... Awaken Trask. Actually, a Trask is not what I wanted. Tartarian Gate is what I wanted. And then somewhere there should be, like, Awaken? Awaken or Bestow Intelligence or something along those lines? Or maybe, like, I was thinking... I can't remember. It's been so long. All right. Yeah, we'll let that tick over. Yeah, three turns, that'll tick over. And that'll be fine. These guys, do we have any defenses here? We have a little bit. We have a little bit? I... No. The the fortress should hold. And just in case it won't, I'm gonna go ahead and recruit one Pale One Militia on the off chance. I don't know if you need to have one person there in order to not instantly lose the fortress. I don't know. Which actually reminds me we should probably go ahead and recruit one there. And I guess since we're going around and doing that, just to make sure... Yeah, everyone's fine there. They're moving there, he's moving in there. God is moving down. The Pretender God is moving down. He's here. Can you... is there enough money to build a lab there? There's not. Okay, that's fine. Is everyone here... everyone here needs to be researching. Where's research? There's research. And everyone here is researching? No, we have one guy that's preaching. Did I have one guy preaching here as well? Possible. Let's go ahead and tell one of them to preach. Just to make sure. Okay, we don't need to. His dominion is strong there. Their dominion is still pushing in here, though. And I don't understand how. Alright, you, you're going up here. Now, I don't want to build one there because we may lose it. He's fine there, he's preaching. Alright, let's just end the turn. And hopefully we will break through the gates up in that one little fort up there. Okay, claimed the throne of death in the name of Kun the Risen. Unexpected event. My priests have incited religious fury into the hearts of the faithful. They have risen to drive evil from the land. I'm sorry, what? Who the hell is Narek the Blood Mage? Got Blood Magic plus one, Blood Magic plus one, and Vilmia the Adventurer has joined? I don't know what all that is. I have not seen that event before. Raiders from the CR Herring Coastal Settlements. Not a good thing. Got some more Earth Gems. Worldwide Drain plus one. That's very unfortunate. Belagor? Oh. Okay. Well, let's view this. I'm assuming... Yeah. Whoa. 
What is that? W? W gets rid of the texture? Why would you ever want to do that? Huh. <laughs> well, I'm thinking we better win this fight. He's level 3 Blood Mage with a decent amount of... Decent amount of, uh... Come on, brain. A decent amount of Blood Slaves to use. We apparently somehow managed to get a level 2 Nature Mage that has Healer. Up to one affliction per month will be removed for every point in this ability. Interesting. Okay, well that's going to be very good, as long as she doesn't die. We'll go ahead, we'll fast forward. I'm assuming they're just, the horses are going to slam into them, slaughter all the blood slaves. Yeah, I mean, that. I don't think we lost anybody. Didn't lose anybody. Apparently we have gotten dogs and goats. Interesting. And a bunch of peasants. Which, hopefully they dissipate. We've started to destroy the gate at the fort, and one battle afflictions were cured. Okay. They did not, which means we now have to support them. Wow, minus three for too many squads? Okay, well first off... I'm sorry, the goat won't, won't be with the dogs? Okay, goat. I, I actually don't know how to kill you off. Goat, can I... I don't know how. Okay. So, still too many squads. Okay, let's get rid of the dogs. Now just Commander Morale bonus is what's doing it. He is lost an arm. Losing an arm, I'm not too concerned about. Is, no, he's no longer hurt. Is anyone else injured? I mean, again, he lost an arm, but I'm not too concerned about it. I think, ooh, we can't. At least we can't without maybe having Lapis make a... I can't remember if Lapis can forge a uh, ring of water blessing, like water breathing. Yes, you can. Okay. Go ahead and make that. The reason I'm having him make that is so that... Alright, they managed to hold it off. Good. Yeah, we're just going to go deeper into their land then. Yeah. Now, Cohen the Risen needs to move here. We have enough money to build more temples? Possibly. Not like in this. Maybe it was just because we didn't have anybody next to it. Let's go ahead and let's actually just put some more defenses here. Make it a slightly less uh, tantalizing area to attack because that is our best throne by far. Throne of Beast gives us, basically spreads our dominion, but also gives us more nature gems. Throne of Death, William Vale, Flesh Garden. The Throne of Death is, it's okay. Dominion gets Death plus one, Turmoil, Productivity, Heat, Misfortune. All right, he's building that there. We have defenses there, some kind of defense there. No one has enough power or enough money to build anything, so we're just gonna go ahead and end the turn again. And I did not check to see, but we're gonna have wasted research points. I think if we're not re if we're not wasting research points now, which we are not, so that's good. What is this? Are you you're curing the peasants? That's what you're doing. Okay, bad event. Handful of earth gems has been found. A sneaking enemy was discovered by a local militia, and we've started to destroy the fort. Still have not broken through it. Okay. Now you, I'm going to go ahead and give you, yes, I'm going to give you water breathing. And then I'm going to have you remove the unable units. You're moving here. You're going to move up and eventually catch up with these guys here. Because, oh, you bastards. How do I want to do this then? Well, I know these guys were all part of the group, so I'm going to move them down here. I'm going to leave him there because he should be able to hold them off. I hope. Cone the Risen. You need to move down here. We need to adjust this. Oh, really? Interesting. I thought we would have had enough by now. Did we lose people? Apparently not. We have three people preaching there. I mean, we might be able to get it back. 
Maybe. Why are you not preaching? Maybe? I don't know. I could just have him research, I suppose. How much is yours at? You throw 25 into there, which is not enough. So, I mean, if it's not enough, there's no point having you sit there to do it. You're gonna move there. We're gonna make sure the god is moving. He is. I guess we have enough money. I want to go ahead and recruit another one of these guys. And then... Okay, you guys have 170 there now. I'm gonna have you construct a temple. Yes, you're gonna construct a temple up there. Yeah, that's fine. End the turn. I really want to get this uh, unleashing the ancient ones. I want to see what it's like, see what it does. Do we even get any notifications about it once we do it? Like about them fighting people? I'm sorry, what? You punks. Okay. Well, we know we can. We know we have enough money to be able to throw guys here. Enough guys here to defend it. And then they're all just going to move here and kill off the 30 guys. There's 30 here. I think we can afford to send him down to kill off the 20 Ghana. Yes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do there. Cone, you need to continue moving. Yep. Wow. What's happening here? Okay, just really big units. Not necessarily dangerous. Now, you only need 63. So what am I going to crank up? I think I'm going to go for enchantment. So we just need to leave them 63. 65 is close enough. That'll probably get us to level like 2 or 3. Yeah. We need to go ahead. We need to split these guys up again. Yep, that's fine. We need to make sure they're in the back, though. Yeah. And then these guys need to fire at... We'll do cavalry. You guys will fire at largest enemy. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine like that. Okay, we've spent all of our money. Claiming that back, attacking down there. Let's end the turn. Okay, AI was thinking extremely hard there. I'm not sure what they were thinking about. Hopefully they were not thinking about declaring war on us. Okay. Research and alteration is completed, and then three, yep, three levels of enchantment finished there. Battle in Grey Mountains. The sieging force has been beaten by our forces. Good stuff. Wouldn't have expected any different. Battle in Ultima Del Delca. Our forces were beaten by the defending forces of Lanka. Well, that's very unfortunate. And then a battle in Abbey. Our military force has been beaten by a stronger force. Hold on. Oh, I don't think I... Maybe I did? I can't remember. Okay, well, you guys are moving up here. I don't... Oh, wait. Did he die? Did we lose our leader there? In Ultima Delca? No? Did you retreat? Did you retreat here? Or did you retreat here? You retreated there. Well, I really don't agree with that decision, sir. But I suppose it is what it is. We'll throw a separate division there. And yes, we'll leave it like that. He's going to attack up there. Cone the Risen is now one spot away. He's going to move on in there. And our research, we're at... Don't need to spend any in alteration, so just sink it all into enchantment. We're at level 3, which gives us... Raise skeletons, create revenant, regeneration. Nope. Gift of Flight, Clayman. Clayman is decent. Uh, anything else? None of those are really that good, but next time we'll have Living Mercury. Can't use it unless we're in water, I believe. Well, maybe not. Maybe we can use it even if we're out of water. What would we want to do? Raise dead? No. Twice born, I think, is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, and chance his own body to protect himself from death. Revives as a white mage. Or a wheat, white mage? Wheat, wheat mage? White mage? Behemoth. Summons a behemoth. Enable and reanimate the largest of all animals. The former is presented, stated, blah, blah, blah. Most important part of the reanimation is the binding of the mage's spirit to the behemoth. This direct spiritual control of the behemoth gives it high magic resistance, as all of the mage's energies are used in controlling and preserving the beast. Here, she is unable to cast spells. 
Interesting. You need to be what? A three death gem? Or three strength good death guy? Alright. Well. It's going to be a ways before we have anything, I think, here that we really want to do. But the good news is, I think for the first, probably next level or two, it's going to zip by pretty quickly. Alright, he's all moving there. We have more guys here. 30 and 30, that's fine. They're building up forces still. This is a lot of... Ether warriors? Ether warriors? 33 there, 45 there. A lot of guys there. Uh, I think that's still fine. Now, what did I want to do? Was I fine with all this? I think I was. He's, more or less, he's staying there. No, we need to remember to move her. Vilmia. You're moving on up here. Yeah. For a second there, I was, I was debating if I wanted to, uh... Debating if I wanted to... Try to move them up or not. We'll end the turn again. And next turn, we're going to summon... Well, not summon the ancient ones. We're going to unleash the imprisoned ones. Unleash imprisoned, imprisoned ones, I think it just is. Research, we complete one more. There's a battle in Abbey. We defeated them. We lost one ogre. We killed all of them. Unexpected in Stalagmia. Turmoil and unrest. Foreseen a major event. Right for constructions. Interesting. Sneaking enemy. Not happy about that. Entrance has finally been broken into. All right, but the main, whoop, the main course though is that Cohen the Risen is back here, and Cohen the Risen. Alteration: you can unleash imprisoned ones. It costs us a hundred earth gems, and since before the founding of Agartha, there have been a forbidden chamber under the roots of the earth. The Garthan legends tell of three dark gods of an earlier age imprisoned with the help of the first Pale Ones. The seal was strengthened with the souls of thousands of Pale Ones who gave their lives to protect the world from the imprisoned ones. Now the seal seems to be weakening, and... Seems to be weakening. And there... No A. And there are rumors of a crack in the seal. Some oracles of the dead have heard silent whispers in their dreams. Whispers of promise. A promise to spare the, Agarth spare the Agarthan people if the imprisoned ones are released. The oldest, most influential of the oracles of the dead has spoken against it. But desperate times need desperate measures, and the whispered promise has not been forgotten. Yep. We're gonna do it. Hunter Earth Gems. Alright. I don't even know. Like, how many Earth Gems do we have? We apparently had 177. Wait, are we not... Seven Earth Gems per month? I guess because I haven't been inspecting all the areas that we've been conquering? That could be. Do I want to? I mean, we probably should. Probably should. Alright. So, that's all fine there. I'm sorry, what? Really? All of your guys fled there? Like, every single one of them. Earth Sun. What? All right, make sure you're not mute. Okay, Earth Sun, you're moving down here. Everybody. Oh. Uh, everybody else is gonna move up here. And then you with your whole army. You know what? Go ahead and search here. Because it's going to take them a turn anyways. Alright. I'm excited to see what this does. Let's see what happens. Do they activate right away? Does it take them a turn? I don't know. Are they just going to be massacred because it happened so late in the game and there's now probably super combatants out and about? Okay, research and enchantment completed has cast Unleash the Imprisoned Ones. Cone the Risen, God of Agartha, King of Earthquakes, Guide of guide of Souls, the Vessel of Might has broken the seal that must not be broken. Three gods of an earlier age imprisoned by a previous Pentocrator Pentocrator? are unleashed and the world is covered in darkness. I like it. Search, but none were found. Oh, sweet, we do get to see it. Alright, there was a battle in Pharah. I'm assuming that's them. I'm just going to go ahead and view battle. Are attacking Agartha and Farah? You son of a bitch, you said you were not going to attack us. You specifically said that you were going to spare us. You son of a bitch. How could you? During the reign of an earlier Pentocrator, Pentocrator, there was a war among gods when the false gods and their pantheons were defeated, the Pentocrator bound them in the only vessels capable of holding god spirits, the bodies of dead titans. The titan bodies were entombed at the roots of the earth, 
and the tomb was sealed with the aid of a young and innocent race with pure souls, the Pale Ones. With their sacrifice, the prison was eternally sealed, and peace returned to the world. The few remaining Pale Ones were given the task of guarding the chamber of the seal, and they have kept vigil ever since. Now the seal is broken by misguided oracles, and the imprisoned ones have returned. Bound to the flesh of the god vessels, the god vessel is tremendously powerful and will wreak havoc on the world unless destroyed or imprisoned once more. And he's a population killer. This much population will die from the current province every month. A thousand. He's got fear, shock resistant, cold, poison, he's undead, needs not eat. Well this, I'm very disappointed in you. Because you're not supposed to attack us. I think we're going to get slaughtered. I think it highly unlikely that we're going to defeat this person. Yep, they're all running away. That's kind of what I would expect. How much are you even... You have... How much health did you have to start? 170. And you're invulnerable. And you have an astral shield. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to kill you. Which is very unfortunate. Yep, everyone's running away. He's apparently... Yeah, he's doing his best, but I don't think his best is going to be enough. You cast blindness? Hold on. Why do you keep casting blindness? Does that actually blind them? No? Wait. Yeah, let's see your deep mind. Yeah. Well, that was horrible. Alright. Battle in Ultima Delca. We managed to kill them. Again, we lost another Earth Reader. Killed a good chunk of them, though. And we are under siege in Farah now. Entrance to the fortification of Monarch Woods has been breached. I'm sorry, what is all this? Hold on now, what is all of this? Penumbral from Agartha? Umbral from Agartha. Right, right. I knew about this. Of course I did. Who's to say I didn't? We'll throw it. Phew. 260. And you could have more. You could. But you don't have enough magical command? Or undead command? You can only command 260 of them. Interesting. Alright. Okay. Okay. Well, I feel like I need to change your orders. No, stay behind the troops. Cast a specific sa spell, though. What one do I want you to cast right away? Uh, I do not know. Strength of Gaia? Probably not. Extra effects, strength, bark skin, and regeneration. No, that's not for all of them. I want something that will affect everybody. Armor of Achilles? No. Iron skin? No. Curse of Stones, Elemental Fortitude, Iron Warriors. Only one effect? Skins of some soldiers, no. Wooden wa Warriors, no. Warriors of Musulfame. The spell transforms it into a legion of red-hued apparitions, all beings that become hot to the touch and highly resistant to cold. Also protects from the chill. No. There it is. Army of Gold or Army of Lead. The entire army is physically altered into beings with golden skin, can withstand severe punishment, and are resistant to heat and flames, or lead. Can withstand severe punishment, and are very difficult to affect with magic. I feel like that's the one I want you to cast. And then, probably conservative magic gem usage. Because these guys, they don't have any protection. They have decent magic resistance. They're ethereal, stealthy, undead, poison resistant, cold, and amphibians. Is that what I want to do? Gold? Boost up their protection even higher? Maybe. That might be what I'm going to do. Alright, but then, in that case, ditch, no, ditch all of those. You're loading up on Earth Gems. I want you to be able to fight a lot of battles without having to rebuild forces. Yeah. I mean, we could give you that. But I don't think I want to. Alright, well, I think that's probably where I'm going to end this episode drew out a little bit longer than what I was hoping for, but that's where I'm gonna, yeah, that's where I'm gonna end this episode. Hopefully, hopefully the God Vessel is not going to only attack us. That's pretty much all I can hope for. Alright, well, I will see you guys next time. Alright, see you then.